Welcome to the vibrant city of Shanghai, a bustling metropolis where the East meets the West. A city that never sleeps, Shanghai is a place where ultra-modern skyscrapers stand shoulder to shoulder with centuries-old architecture, presenting a unique blend of the old and the new. Nestled on the eastern coast of China, Shanghai is the country's largest city and a global financial hub. It's a city that's always on the move, always evolving, yet it retains a deep sense of history and tradition. Shanghai is a city of contrasts. Here you can find sleek, towering skyscrapers and neon lights juxtaposed against ancient temples and traditional tea houses. High-speed bullet trains and futuristic maglevs whisk you across the city, while old-fashioned trams trundle along at a leisurely pace. It's a city where you can dine at a Michelin-starred restaurant one minute and save a street food the next. Shanghai's culture is no less diverse. It's a melting pot of influences from all over China and beyond, creating a unique culture that's distinctly Shanghai. From the traditional Chinese opera and acrobatic shows to cutting-edge contemporary art and fashion, Shanghai offers a cultural feast for every taste. Shanghai's significance as a tourist destination cannot be overstated. With its rich history, vibrant culture, stunning architecture and world-class dining, it's no surprise that Shanghai attracts millions of visitors from around the world each year. And there's so much to see and do in Shanghai. Whether you're interested in history, culture, shopping or food, Shanghai has something for everyone. From the iconic skyline of the Bund to the charming old streets of the French concession, from the bustling shopping mecca of Nanjing Road to the tranquil beauty of the Yu Garden, Shanghai offers a wealth of experiences that are sure to captivate and inspire. So strap in, and prepare for an exciting journey as we delve into the heart of this amazing city. Today, we will explore the five best places to visit in this magnificent city. Our first stop is the iconic Bund, a waterfront area in central Shanghai. This bustling promenade is not just a feast for the eyes, but it's also a living symbol of Shanghai's vibrant past and dynamic present. The Bund, or Waitan, as it's known in Mandarin, was once the financial heart of the Far East, where opulent banks and trading houses from all corners of the globe erected their headquarters. These grandiose buildings, with their European architectural styles, stand as silent witnesses to an era of rapid economic growth and international influence. Now imagine standing on the Bund's broad walkway. You're taken aback by the striking contrast between the old and the new. On one side, you have the historic buildings of the Bund each with its own unique story to tell. And on the other, you're greeted by the dazzling skyline of Pudong, Shanghai's financial district. This juxtaposition of the past and the future is what makes the Bund a compelling sight to behold. And when night falls, the Bund transforms into a spectacle of light and color. The historic buildings are beautifully illuminated, their charm further enhanced by the reflections dancing on the surface of the Huangpu River. Across the river, the futuristic skyscrapers of Pudong, including the iconic Oriental Pearl Tower and Shanghai Tower, light up the night sky with a mesmerizing display of colors. But the Bund is more than just a pretty sight. It's a place where locals and tourists alike gather to enjoy the cool breeze, take leisurely strolls, and simply soak in the city's energy. It's a place where street performers showcase their talents, Lovers share intimate moments and photographers capture unforgettable snapshots of the city's soul. So whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast or a lover of stunning cityscapes, the Bund has something for everyone. It's a place where the past, present and future of Shanghai come together, offering a unique perspective of this bustling metropolis. The Bund truly is a testament to Shanghai's rich history and rapid development. Moving on, we find ourselves at Yu Garden, a peaceful oasis in the heart of the city. This tranquil spot is a testament to the timeless beauty of traditional Chinese landscape design. Nestled amidst Shanghai's towering skyscrapers, Yu Garden offers an enchanting escape from the urban jungle. Known as Yu Yuan Garden in Mandarin, its name fittingly translates to the Garden of Happiness. As we delve into the heart of this enchanting retreat, we are greeted by an array of stunning pavilions, each a symbol of China's rich architectural heritage. These pavilions, adorned with intricate carvings and ornate roof tiles, serve as tranquil spaces where visitors can soak in the garden's ethereal charm. 
Connecting these pavilions are a series of beautiful bridges, each unique in its design and purpose. Some bridges are zigzagging, a design believed to ward off evil spirits in Chinese culture as they can only travel in straight lines. Others are arched, allowing visitors to enjoy a panoramic view of the surrounding beauty. But Yu Garden isn't just about pavilions and bridges. It's also home to a myriad of ponds, each teeming with vibrant koi fish. These ponds, filled with lotus flowers and water lilies, bring an element of serenity to the garden landscape. The history of Yu Garden is as captivating as its scenery. Established during the Ming Dynasty, over four centuries ago, it was the labour of love of a government official who desired to create a tranquil space for his parents to enjoy their twilight years. Over the years, the garden has witnessed the ebb and flow of Chinese history, surviving wars and revolutions only to emerge more resilient. And let's not forget the garden's cultural significance. It's often considered a symbol of classical Chinese garden design, embodying the harmony between man and nature, a key philosophy in Chinese culture. The careful placement of rocks, water, plants and pavilions is more than just aesthetic. It's a reflection of a world view that seeks balance, peace and harmony in every aspect of life. In the heart of this bustling metropolis, Yu Garden stands as a testament to the enduring charm of traditional Chinese culture. Its timeless beauty offers a stark contrast to the city's modern skyscrapers, serving as a gentle reminder of China's rich cultural heritage. Whether you're strolling along the garden's meandering paths, admiring the intricate details of its pavilions, or simply sitting by one of its peaceful ponds, Yu Garden offers a serene retreat from the city's frenetic pace. It's a place where you can pause, breathe, and simply be. Indeed, Yu Garden is a perfect spot for those seeking tranquility amidst the city's hustle and bustle. It's a place where the past and the present coexist, where the rush of city life gives way to the gentle whispers of history and where every visitor can find a little piece of happiness. Next up is the Shanghai Museum, a treasure trove of Chinese art and history. In the heart of Shanghai, nestled among the city's modern skyscrapers, you'll find a remarkable testament to China's rich past, the Shanghai Museum. This world-renowned institution is one of the most important cultural landmarks in all of China, and it's easy to see why. With a collection that spans thousands of years, the Shanghai Museum is a window into the soul of this ancient civilization. As you step into the museum, you're stepping back in time. Every artifact, every exhibit is a page from China's long and storied history. From the age-old jade carvings to the intricate ceramics, each piece has a tale to tell. One of the museum's most impressive collections is its ancient ceramics. A walk through the ceramic gallery is like a journey through China's artistic evolution. You see the humble beginnings in Neolithic pottery, the refinement during the Tang Dynasty, and the breathtaking intricacy of Ming Dynasty porcelain. Each piece, whether a simple pot or an ornate vase, is a testament to the craftsmanship of the artisans of yesteryears. The museum also houses an extensive collection of bronzeware, some of which date back to the Shang Dynasty over 3,000 years ago. These ancient relics, with their intricate designs and complex motifs, offer a glimpse into China's early civilization. From ceremonial vessels to musical instruments, each bronze artifact is a silent witness to the grandeur of China's Bronze Age. And then there's the calligraphy, an art form that has been at the heart of Chinese culture for millennia. The Shanghai Museum boasts a vast collection of calligraphic works, from the bold strokes of the Qin Dynasty to the flowing lines of the Tang Dynasty. Each piece is more than just a written word. It's a dance of the brush, a symphony of lines and curves. It's poetry in motion. But the museum is more than just its collection. It's a symbol of Shanghai's commitment to preserving its cultural heritage. In an era where the new often overshadows the old, the Shanghai Museum stands as a beacon, reminding us of the timeless beauty of the past. Whether you're a history buff, an art enthusiast, or simply a curious traveller, there's something for you at the Shanghai Museum. Every exhibit invites you to pause, to look closer, to listen to the silent stories etched in jade, painted on porcelain, cast in bronze and written in ink. The Shanghai Museum is a must visit for anyone interested in Chinese history and culture. So next time you find yourself in Shanghai, make sure to set aside some time for this magnificent institution you'll leave with a deeper understanding of China's past and a greater appreciation for its present. We now head to Nanjing Road, 
Shanghai's premier shopping street. Nanjing Road, widely recognized as the main artery of Shanghai's shopping scene, is a vibrant and bustling boulevard that embodies the city's spirit of modernity and tradition. It's a pulsating symphony of colors, sounds, and experiences where old meets new, east meets west, and commerce meets culture. Running east to west, this five kilometer long stretch is a kaleidoscope of over 600 businesses that range from century old shops, well-known brand stores, to small boutiques. It's a consumer's paradise where you can find anything from traditional Chinese crafts and antiques to the latest fashion trends and high-tech gadgets. As you stroll down the pedestrian-friendly walkway, you'll encounter iconic department stores such as the Shanghai No. 1 department store, a landmark in its own right, with its roots dating back to the early 20th century. Here, you can indulge in a shopping spree or simply marvel at the grandeur of its architecture, a testament to Shanghai's storied past. But Nanjing Road is not just about retail therapy. It's a culinary hotspot too, offering a smorgasbord of flavors and cuisines. From high-end restaurants serving exquisite Shanghainese delicacies, international eateries offering world cuisines, to street vendors selling local snacks like Xiaolongbao and Jianbing, there's something to tantalize every palate. As the sun sets, Nanjing Road transforms into a dazzling spectacle of neon lights and billboards, making it one of the city's most vibrant nocturnal destinations. The nightlife here is as diverse as its shopping scene. From lively pubs, chic rooftop bars, to tranquil tea houses, there's an evening venue for every mood and occasion. This shopping mecca is not just a hit among fashion-forward shoppers, but also a favorite among locals and tourists alike. For many Shanghainese, it's a place of nostalgia and a symbol of the city's progress. For tourists, it's an essential stop to experience the city's pulsating energy, to soak in the local culture and to bring home a piece of Shanghai. The magic of Nanjing Road lies in its ability to blend the old with the new, the familiar with the exotic. It's a place where you can buy a silk scarf from a store that's been around for a century, enjoy a meal from a global fast food chain and then unwind at a tea house steeped in history, all within a few blocks. So whether you're a shopaholic, a foodie, a history buff, or just an explorer at heart, Nanjing Road has something for you. It's a place that invites you to immerse yourself in its rhythm, to lose yourself in its charm, and to find yourself in its myriad offerings. Nanjing Road is the perfect place to experience Shanghai's lively and exciting atmosphere. Our final stop is the Oriental Pearl Tower, one of the tallest TV towers in the world. Standing proudly over the Pudong district of Shanghai is the Oriental Pearl Tower. An architectural marvel, the tower is a unique blend of traditional Chinese elements and modern design. With its 11 spheres suspended between three columns, there's no other structure quite like it on the planet. The spheres, each a different size, are meant to symbolize pearls, a nod to the tower's name. But it's not just the architecture that's impressive. The tower offers breathtaking panoramic views of Shanghai. From the viewing platform, you can see the city sprawl out beneath you, with skyscrapers, the winding Huangpu River, and the bustling streets of Shanghai all visible. Whether you visit in the bright light of day or under the twinkling city lights at night, the view from the Oriental Pearl Tower is an unforgettable sight. And there's more to the Oriental Pearl Tower than just its views. The tower is a hub of entertainment and culture. It houses a revolving restaurant where you can dine while taking in the cityscape, a museum that offers a glimpse into Shanghai's past, and even a virtual reality roller coaster for those seeking a thrill. The tower isn't just a place to see Shanghai, it's a place to experience it. What's more, the tower is a symbol of Shanghai's evolution. It stands as a testament to the city's rapid growth and development. Its shift from a traditional city to a bustling metropolis. The Oriental Pearl Tower embodies Shanghai's spirit, a city that's constantly pushing boundaries, constantly reinventing itself, and constantly looking towards the future. The Oriental Pearl Tower is a testament to Shanghai's modernity and its status as a global city. These are just a few of the many incredible places to visit in Shanghai. As our journey comes to a close, let's take a moment to look back at the beautiful places we've visited today. Remember the vibrant bustle of the Bund, with its historic buildings and breathtaking skyline, 
The Bund is a testament to Shanghai's unique blend of Eastern and Western cultures, a place where history and modernity meet in the most splendid fashion. Then, we stepped back in time at the Yu Garden. This tranquil sanctuary, with its traditional Chinese architecture, lush greenery and peaceful ponds, is a perfect escape from the city's hustle and bustle. It's a reminder that amidst the skyscrapers and the speed of city life, there's room for peace and contemplation. We also explored the Shanghai Museum, a treasure trove of ancient Chinese art and history. With its vast collection of artefacts and exhibits, it's like stepping into a time machine and travelling back through thousands of years of history. Our stroll down Nanjing Road, one of the busiest shopping streets in the world, was another highlight. It's a place where you can experience the city's vibrant energy, shop until you drop, and taste some of the most delicious street food. And finally, the Oriental Pearl Tower, this iconic landmark, soaring high above the city, offers a bird's eye view of Shanghai. It's a symbol of the city's rapid growth and its place on the world stage. All of these are pieces of the vibrant, multifaceted puzzle that is Shanghai. Each place is a chapter in the city's story, a story that continues to unfold. What do you think about these places? We would love to hear your thoughts, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel guides.